stat that's kept, but it seemed like you guys won that pretty decisively, starting with Tyrell, if you could talk about making that uh, well, Coach made it clear to us that if we come with energy on defense, uh, it's going to give us a good chance to win ball games. Uh, offense will take care of itself, um, miss shots. Only way to keep yourself in the game is to play defense. And uh, thus far throughout the season, I think we've done that uh, to a, a good, uh, good extent. And um, if we keep doing that, I think we'll put ourselves in good positions uh, in games going forward. Jaden, how do you think that helped you guys get to a rhythm on offense? Um, I mean, the message has been simple. Uh, play as hard as you can uh, very consistently. Uh, and that's what I personally have been trying to do. And that's what I feel like the individuals on the team have been trying to do. Uh, we've been trying to limit our turnovers uh, so we can get back on defense easier and just making our transition from offense to e defense much smoother. With 23 assists against only 12 turnovers, can you speak to the ball movement tonight? I mean, I think we have a good um, amount of chemistry. Uh, we all hang out with each other off the court, which makes it easier to uh, reverse the ball and trust each other on the court. Um, I think when we limit our turnovers, uh, we get good shots. And when we get good shots, it uh, leads to assists. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really uh, crazy how, uh, how we practice translates to the game. Uh, within practice, we've been trying to move the ball, uh, hold the ball for no more than half a second, uh, get it out and figure out where our teammates are and where they're open. And I feel like tonight we did a great job of finding our teammates in good spots. Jake, what do you feel like has been the biggest difference between sort of, you know, the team and where it was last year to where, you know, to what you guys have shown these first few games this season? Yeah, so last year wasn't my first year. Um, I feel like we had less, we have left less of a separation like between age this year. Um, and I feel like the guys are a lot closer. I feel like the older guys on our team this year, um, some of our leaders, Dejan, Oscar, th we're all really close. Um, and they, they've been taking in the freshmen, uh, taking some of us sophomores uh, whose roles have increased, and just making sure our team chemistry continues to increase. Can you talk about you know, kind of Dejan and how he's been able to embrace that leadership role? You know, he's not necessarily scoring as much as people maybe would have expected, but you know, his effort on defense and just kind of the energy that he brings to the team. Yeah, I mean, so. Day is like super uh, level-headed. I mean, he, 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 he. His effort on defense is like uncomparable, uh, and we we notice that in practice. We've been noticing that uh, really since I first got here, um, and he he sets the standard for all of us defensively, especially, and then offensively, he's a great leader as far as uh, for our point guards, such as Ty, uh, getting us into the offense and finding the rhythm. Jay, this was a career high for you, uh, and you were really aggressive getting into the rim. Can you speak about your uh, your mindset today? Um, I mean, I tried to come into the game with just one simple uh, goal to play as hard as I can and compete on both sides, offensive, uh, offensively and defensively, and make hard cuts. Uh, thankfully, my coaches put me in good situations, and my teammates found me the ball, uh, so I was able to convert. Turner, it looked like they threw you know, some zone out there to try to compete you guys. Can you just talk about the zone offense and how you feel the execution of that was today? Um, I thought we did a great job uh, in zone offense, especially in the second half. Um, we had a big emphasis of reversing the ball and getting the ball inside uh, during practice. Uh, we had a lot of reps during that in practice, and it uh, translates to the game uh, very well, in my opinion. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thank you. Coach, start with an opening statement, and we'll open up for questions. Yeah, certainly a exciting win for us to be able to. Is that me? <laughs> Not sure what I'm watching right there. Um, an exciting win uh, to go to 3 0 on the season right now. And um, I thought the guys really competed the first half. I think defensively, we're um, probably don't have an identity yet, but we're slowly developing one. I think they're competing. They're, um, the help situations, understanding the different schemes has been really good. Uh, and then on the offensive end, I was thrilled with the idea of keeping our turnovers down. We only had four in the first half, and I think we ended up with 12 uh, and kind of flipped it to a positive where the assists were uh, 23, I believe. And so the assist turnover ratio, and when it looks like that for us, um, I think we're going to be pretty efficient offensively. And if we compete like that on the defensive end, good things are going to happen. Uh, 
No, it's, it's good, and it's good they can remember that what I tell them sometimes and they bring it and tell you guys that's good. Um, but we really do work on the fundamentals. We're trying to get the guys to um, catch it in a triple threat position, all the things I'm you know, teaching my, uh, my kids at home. You know, that catch on triple threat, be on balance, face the basket, and see all your options. And those basics and those fundamentals are really the groundwork for these guys to be able to make those plays. But I thought they made a lot of simple plays for the most part. They're effective. They're on balance. Uh, and then we are trying to tell them that they need to make decisions quickly. When the ball hits their hands, if it's a shot, that's, that's fine if that's the right play. If it's a drive, that's fine. If it's a pass, that's fine. But it needs to happen quickly when it hits your hands. good anytime you know and we, we still are young it's I'm trying to figure out how we stay young every single year but uh, we are still young and I think anytime you can get some wins and uh, have some successful play it does build confidence but having said that too I think the older guys um, have worked really hard to get to this point and I think they have a really an inner level of confidence that's pretty good and the freshmen uh, I think you're seeing out there have uh, inner confidence as well they know they've worked hard and I think they feel like they're ready for this stage so um, certainly the results help with the confidence, but I also think our guys know they worked really hard this offseason to put themselves in a position uh, to get some wins. Coach, that's back-to-back -back games in the first half, holding the opponent around 20 points. Uh, how do you think you're able to do that? Well, I think the, the effort has been really good. I think the attention to detail on the scouting report and knowing personnel has been really good. Um, the, uh, the one thing that I think can improve still is the defensive rebounding and finishing possessions. Um, but I think just overall the combination of playing as hard as we possibly can um, and then executing the, the game plan, uh, both those combined lead to that. You mentioned that you don't necessarily know what the defensive identity is of this team, but what do you think it could be? And I think it's developing. I know what I want it to be, and I think we're, we're trending in that direction pretty quickly. Um, but overall, it's a, it's a level of toughness. It's an it's a attitude of competing every position uh, possession. You know, it's fighting for every loose ball, every defensive rebound. Um, talking is an elite talking group. Um, and again, I think, uh, I think we're really on a good path right now. But before I call it an identity, we need to see it uh, you know, more than just three games. And we're going to need to keep building on that. But it's something that I'm pretty excited about right now. I'm wondering your thoughts on, on Jaden's performance and how did what you saw tonight maybe fit into a greater context of recent practices and, and previous games? There's no question. It's a great way of phrasing it. And the thing I told the guys in the locker room is he played how he practiced. He had a couple of great days of practice. He's working harder and harder and having more success in practice. And that carried over to the game today. So his confidence is going up as time goes on as well. But he brings another dimension to the team. He's fantastic against zones uh, with his length and his passing ability. And he's really good with ball fakes and passing. Uh, so he can add a lot of value there. And he continues to get better defensively by just competing and playing hard. And with his length and skill set, he can absolutely add, add a lot to this team. How nice is it you know, for your team and the offense when you can get you know, nine assists and only three turnovers from Dejan and Tyrell? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, the point guard play and the, and the guard play in general, it, it, it provides your organization. It provides the first look into the offense. It uh, provides the stability for the other guys to see um, that the ball is secure. And so I think that's an important, really important stat. And, um, it's a lot easier to coach when you feel like uh, as the ball comes up the court, you have a play called, you know what the plan is, you can execute that first pass, and then the rest of it can flow out of that. And up to this point, has Tyrell done anything on the court that's you know, either surprised you or you haven't been expecting from him? Not really. I have uh, I continue to have high expectations for him. You know, Through the recruiting process, uh, we thought he was uh, an elite point guard uh, from a shooting perspective, from a passing perspective, from a toughness perspective. Uh, and I think we've seen that uh, to a certain extent so far. And uh, if anything, my expectations uh, will only con continue to grow. Gabriel? Thank you.